meantime, attracting all the wrong sorts of political attention over Syria. One U.S. presidential candidate embarrassingly admitted he didn't know what, where Aleppo was. But as it turns out, he's not the only one either. I, I think it is disqualifying. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, I truly do. Eric Johnson made big news today, and not the kind that will help him in his quest to get into the upcoming debates. He wanted to put himself on the map in the worst way. Today, he did. man used to filling the heat from the media is Donald Trump, except this time it's not about what the presidential candidate said, but rather who he's been saying it to. Trump's facing a barrage of criticism this weekend over his recent interview with Larry King because we showed it here on this channel. Larry King works uh, with us. He broadcasts on this channel. Caleb Mopin's been looking at the backlash then. Media bias has been a running theme of the Trump campaign. What surprised you the most about running for office? Uh, the media has been unbelievably dishonest. I mean, they'll take a statement that you make, which is perfect, and they'll cut it up and chop it up and shorten it or lengthen it or do something with it, and all of a sudden it doesn't look as good as it did when you actually said it. I mean, I knew that would happen, but I, I never thought to this extent. And in reaction to his interview with Larry King here on RT, the media was true to form. Trump's message was sidelined, and the media focused on where the interview was broadcast. What's your reaction when you hear, uh, first of all, that Trump went on Russian TV, gave this interview to Larry King on Russian TV? Trump following up his praise for Putin with a stunning appearance on RT, the Kremlin-backed television network. Donald Trump did an interview that aired on RT, the English language <coughs> news channel sponsored by the Russian government. Anger and consternation directed at Donald Trump. That's something we haven't seen before. This is the age of the internet. I hate to break it to you, what's this Russian TV business? I mean, it's all over the world. Do you think that when something is on PBS, See, an American-controlled, state-sponsored medium, that somehow that changes the tenor of the message when it is thereupon put into the pipeline of the World Wide Web? I mean, what anachronistic point of view is this? Russian TV? No, it's everywhere. I mean, seriously, this country goes berserk whenever you use the word Russian. RT's Ed Schultz, who appeared on the same program where Larry King's interview with Trump was broadcast, says he has no doubt where the message is coming from. I have an open invitation to anyone in the Clinton campaign to go face to face with me, but of course they won't do that because this is manufactured news by the Clinton campaign to vilify Donald Trump and connect him to Vladimir Putin, and that's their strategy to win the election. It's hurting Hillary Clinton, which I think is even more than sad. So, Mrs. Clinton, the ball is in your court. Caleb Maupin, RT, Washington, D.C.